Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and in this episode, we are going to be talking about different guitar straps. So, is there a difference in guitar straps? What guitar strap should you use? Is there a difference between a guitar strap and a bass strap? And different lengths. Where should you put the strap? Where should you hold the strap? Etc. So, we're going to start off with the most basic strap here. This is the cheap, cheap ones you find. Typically, sometimes they're like a little stretchy material. This is just like a fabric. Sometimes you'll find them like a cheap vinyl or whatever. But typically, these are your basic straps you're gonna find with the leather ends. Basic $10, $15 guitar strap. Nothing fancy. So this guy is perfectly good for guitars if you're comfortable with them, if you like this style and you like wearing them, no problem there. They're cheaper. Uh, they, most of these, this one has a cool flame print on them. A lot of the, these types of styles, uh, they kind of entice you because they have a cool design on them uh, or whatever. Make it look all fancy and cool. Um, but they are cheaper. Um, in my opinion, they're a little bit less comfortable uh, than the ones I'm currently using, which I will show you momentarily. Um, but pretty much they're like the cheapest thing you can get, you know, if you're not playing a lot, if you're not gigging out constantly. Um, you don't really need anything heavier gauge, but, uh, these guys pretty much do the trick. All right. Next in line. This is what I call the off-brand leather strap. Uh, these, this also has fancy little design on it. Um, if you notice here, instead of one just big adjustment cord, uh, that one actually is a lot easier to adjust. This guy, what you have to do is this entire piece at the end comes off and then you have these little holes that you basically thread it through. To figure out where you want to adjust this. This guy is a little bit more padded. Um, it is leather. This is 100% leather. Nothing super fancy about it besides that cool design. Um, and this one is a little bit shorter. Um, I have noticed that type of style is a little bit shorter. Sometimes, it is, especially for bases, it's not very fun. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you is a similar style but more expensive. Uh, this particular one is a Levi's guitar strap. I have my strap locks on it. Um, I have a couple of these. I got them used. Uh, if you get them used, they're a lot less expensive. Same style where you got to thread it through. Uh, these particular ones are good for slightly heavier guitars. Um, if you're getting into the probably 8 plus pound range, you might want to look for something that's a little bit uh, more padded. Maybe got like some sort of foam insert or some sort of uh, cottony cushion. On the inside, they do make uh, guitar straps like that. These are just three, my particular three ones that I have lying around. Uh, the first one, one, the main thing about this guy that's very easy and convenient is this adjustment right here. Just slide up and down, super easy. Uh, the other ones are a little bit more pain in the butt to adjust. Um, bases. Yes, you need to look for either extra long guitar straps or specifically bass straps. Because typically, uh, because of the length of the base, um, how the how because the neck is obviously a lot a little bit longer than a guitar neck, um, you need a little bit lower, so you need something a little bit longer that stretches out a little bit longer. Um, so where should you wear your guitar, basically? So there's different spots where you can wear your guitar. If it's comfortable for you to do it super low, you know, got the pop. The whole uh, Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day, he likes to wear his really super low because he's sitting there pounded on it, you know, a lot of down strumming. Um, that's his kind of style, you know, people think that makes you look cool, but playability-wise, you want it kind of right on your gut. Uh, that's where you're going to get the best playability, um, guitar and bass, both alike. Um, you want it right about on your stomach, right in that maybe a little bit higher, a little bit lower to get it adjusted to where you are. If you have it too high... You're going to be doing the claw hand that I call it like this. And if you have it too low, you're also going to be doing the claw hand because you're trying to reach around your entire fretboard. If you have it right here, your hand typically stays at a 90 degree angle, which is something you're going to want when you're playing for an extended period of time. So <clears throat> weight wise, if you have something like a Les Paul, typically around the eight pound range, uh, fenders are around the six pound range. So a fender, you could use one of these straps, no problem. Um, uh, you, could, you also use one of those leather straps. One of those leather straps is also more suitable because it's wider. Uh, typically, if it's wider, the weight is spread out more than one smaller spot like this one. As you can see, just for a size reference between the two, if I compare them, you probably got roughly maybe a quarter of an inch more surface area. 
play with on that guy. But what you really want to do is when you have like a heavy guitar, like a Les Paul or a double neck, or just something in general, like my Warmoth that I have that is stupid heavy, um, probably the weight of a standard Les Paul, no weight relief, any of that. You're going to want something that's really padded, really heavy, something that is insulated, has something, oh, let me hear. Like not exactly this material, but basically if you roll up a cloth here, this is just a dust cloth. Basically, it's something squishy like this that's in between, so that way you're not killing your shoulder. Um, another option, obviously, is switch out guitars here and there, so that way you're not killing your shoulder constantly. But it is very important where you keep your strap position. As I said, you want it near your stomach because you don't want to be having awkward, uncomfortable angles that are friggin' pushing down on your muscles in here, and then you're going to be crapping up halfway through a solo. And that's not going to be fun. No, it is not. Not going to be fun at all. So what should you know about buying straps? Uh, just if you should buy name brand, not name brand. It doesn't really matter. Um, typically, you can find an AB comparison. These two right here. This is probably a $30 strap. This is a $60 strap. Guess what? They're made out of the same material. This one doesn't have fancy binding on the side like this one does. But who cares? You know, ugh, I'm not going to get into like name brands. If they told you this one's Levi, if you like this one, look at their straps. The other ones are no, both no-name random ones. Uh, I think actually this one's a PB one. Where is it? Oh, yeah, it's a P. So this is probably... It came, it came with probably my PB Predator when I bought, when I got that thing. Um, but, yeah, no. Your best bet is don't worry about name brand starting off. Worry about something. If you got a heavy guitar, find something that's cushy. Who cares about the name brand? If you got a lighter guitar, you can buy one of those cheap $10 to $15 straps. You're not going to have any problems. That's pretty much all you need to know. Don't worry about name brand. Not like guitars anyway, where everybody loves the name brand. It's not a guitar. It's just a strap. Um, I'll try to find some, maybe throw some links in the description or something to different uh, straps, different styles that different people like. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all you really know, need to know about guitar straps. If you have any questions, feel free to throw a comment down below. Remember to subscribe if you like this video, like this video if you like this video, <laughs> and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can actually see when I am posting new videos. Um, I'm hopefully going to be posting a little bit more every week. At least I'll try to get two videos a week, um, just for reference if you're looking for my videos. Um, but yeah, that's it. My name's Steve Gray. Have a good one.